The big finale. And now Zoe calls you on the phone. What are you doing? Let's order some takeout. Hold on. Let's get some food delivered for after we kill the final boss. We'll be starving. Aww. <clears throat> Uh, she pushed him through the wall. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? Because you're infected. She somehow infected him. Probably he's been exposed to so many people who had the virus at this point that he's infected with it now. Which means he might not be able to kill her because she might take control of him. Huh. Now earlier on in the game I couldn't I didn't know about the bobbleheads. I wonder if there's bobbleheads hidden here early on. I did get the one in the basement. I don't see any. You know what? I'll use my last supplement. There she is. Look where I am. Yeah, Granny was never in any of the family photos. Now it makes sense. Granny was never in the photos, yeah. Oh, look, they blocked it off so you can't go in the secret passage for the end of the game. <clears throat> no, okay. oh, this is when she stabs you with the screwdriver. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, Mommy. This is what was happening. She was mind controlling her. I've done that! Uh huh. It fucking hurts. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. Huh. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. So that's what was going on the whole time. No tape recorder, it's gone. Help. Nope, gotta go this way. Ethan, help me. Fuck do I go? Uh the doors don't open. And there's no ladder anymore to go up. Look. What do I do? Uh <clears throat> What the fuck? Look! <laughs> Flashbacks. Go. Go. Yeah, see, now she vanished. That's pretty cool. Still won't open, though. No. Where the fuck are you? You back downstairs? Ah! The joke's on you! I've saved the lockpick for the entire game so I can open this drawer! Oh wait, there's no lock there anymore. <laughs> Hold on, before we do this, let's check the fridge one last time. Oh, come on! Don't let me check the fridge. Oh, shut up, Granny. I'm gonna own Granny so hard, I'm gonna ream your ass. I'm not playing. No! Not away from me! I want your help! Get out of the way! Bitch! It 
it's up to me. She's gone. Door won't open. Fuck, where do I go now? The door won't open. We I mean, know Mia's not here. Mia's back on the ship. Oh, what the hell is this now? Fuck you, Granny. Where are you, Granny? With all the lights. I don't want to hurt you. This way? Aha! <clears throat> It's not even hurting. She's not real. See? Now what the whole house is shaking. The fuck is going on? The whole house is coming apart. Look. I still can't go this way. Nope. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Go upstairs again? <clears throat> yep. See, it's Granny. We injected Granny. Yup. It was her all along. I think it would. Holy shit. Whoa. I don't think this is over. Oh, fuck. Hello. Hi, Granny. Oh, 
Thrown out of the house. Here come choppers. She's growing. Ah! Fucking Ouroboros is out of control. Fuck you, Granny! Oh, my face! You bitch! I blocked. Didn't really do much, though. Oh my god. Oh shit! The leg! Not good. Fuck you! Oh god! Ah! Oh. Shooter! Oh, stop slapping me! I'll give you a fucking family! Oh! Hello! Fuck you! Holy shit! All I got is a handgun now? Grab the handgun! Look! The handgun! It's the Albert! The Albert 001 gun! Maybe it's the way to kill her, it's the fucking... Antivirus! Fucking bitch! That's how it's fucking done. Oh, what a cool boss fight. <laughs> it was me all along. Ethan, it was me, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Playing it safe. The nightmare's finally over. Got a bunch of uh, trophies here. End of the night, silver trophy. Who is it? Is it the BSAA? Is it Stars? Who is it? It's Wesker. Who is it? It's Leon, it's Chris, it's someone. It's Jill Valentine. I'm Redfield. What? I'm glad we found you. It's supposed to be Chris Redfield. The fuck took you guys so long? Holy shit. It's supposed to be Chris Redfield. Looks nothing like him, though. Ethan? Holy gosh, they've saved me too. Yeah. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Oh, where the fuck were all these guys the entire game, by the way? They showed up at the last minute. Where the fuck were you all game, assholes? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. <laughs> and what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Umbrella? But now Evelyn's dead. Chris works for Umbrella now? What the and fuck? These guys are here to clean up the mess. <laughs> oh, what? I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Maybe this is where Capcom gets back in the good graces of the customers. Fans of the Resident Evil series. That was cool, man. That was a cool ending. That was nicely done. I gotta say, for a way to redo the series and give people faith back in survival horror, they, they finally did it. They finally fucking did it. I'm not saying I didn't like Resident Evil 5 and 6, but... The fuck is this? 
Oh, it's the cr it's credits. Apparently it's a song with lyrics. Huh. Everybody's dead. Did you know that? See, here's the thing. Tons of people hated Resident Evil 6, right? But you have to say some. Resident Evil 6 had great production value, a ridiculous amount of gameplay, and a huge story. This game was really good. I really like Resident Evil 7 because it was a return to survival horror, but it's over in 9 to 10 hours, you know? Now, what incentive do you have to go back and play it? You've already done it. So... Depends on what you like, I guess. More gameplay, more run and gun action, or true survival horror. Which do you like better? Uh, now they're just showing random creepy images that have nothing to do with the game. It has nothing to do with it. get any elaboration about about red redfield who looks nothing like chris redfield but apparently he is and on this new umbrella huh. everybody's jack <laughs> You would think after how many fucking epidemics, outbreaks, and times that this doesn't work making biological weapons that the people in the Resident Evil universe would learn their fucking lesson, but apparently not. They're so stupid, they're still intent, they're gonna make a biological weapon that they can control and won't fuck everything up. I mean, how many Resident Evil games have we had? Seven now, plus the fucking uh, Revelation spin-offs? It's like, what the fuck? There seems to be a lot of confusion because some people are like, this game's a reboot. So Chris works for Umbrella now, it's a different Chris. And other people are like, no, it's not a reboot. Why would it be called Seven? So it's true. Who knows? Who knows what the actual story is? What's their intent? Are they actually redoing the plot line from the beginning or what? We don't know. There's no explanation yet. So I want to see in the credits, do they actually say that that was Chris Redfield in the credits? So I'm going to look for the voice actors in the credits here and try to figure it out for ourselves if it says it or not. Huh. <clears throat> you would think it can't be a reboot because they reference Raccoon City. Remember we saw that one article about Raccoon City in the game? It's directly referenced. You think it's not a reboot, but that didn't look like Chris Redfield and Umbrella certainly, that was a different Umbrella, you know? Huh. Oh, here we go. Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield. It says that's Chris. So apparently that's really Chris Redfield, so yeah. For some reason, five different people played Chris Redfield in the Japanese version. What the fuck? Why were there five voice actors? Uh... It was Chris Redfield's younger brother, Chris Redfield. <laughs> That's great. Chris Redfield's younger brother, Chris Redfield. His dad's Chris Redfield. His cousin Chris, Uncle Chris. <laughs> so it was Chris. Well, I'm excited. If anything... This is a great way to reboot the series, right? 
It felt a lot like the classic games, only it was first person. The combat, of course, was much better than the original games being first person, not tank control bullshit. Um, I liked the boss fights. I would say the only thing that's disappointing, honestly, is the length. It's about 9 to 10 hours long, you know? And in a modern era, 60 bucks for a game that's only 9 to 10 hours long, when we've got such epic games we've gotten over the past few years that give you, you know, 20, 30 hours of great gameplay. I'm not just talking games that are repetitive shit, but games that actually give you a significant amount of gameplay for the same price as a game like this. I don't know. That's like the one negative, honestly. The length, if it were longer, it would be like perfect. <clears throat> I would also say some people in the stream chat are making some good points. They're like, not a lot of enemy variety. It's true, you had the regular molded guy, right? The crawler molded guy that goes on four legs. The powered up molded guy who has the big tyrant arm. So that's three enemies. And then you had the swarm of bugs and the regular bugs. And quite honestly, that's it, right? I guess there's the shambler, the one that has no legs, molded guy. Uh, and then there's the bosses. So really, there's, what, like, five, six enemy types and the bosses? And how many bosses are there? There's the father multiple times, right? So I guess you could count that two or three times. The father is a boss fight. Mia is technically a boss fight at the beginning of the game. Marguerite. And the final boss. You know what? I just realized we never killed Lucas. We never even fought Lucas. So Lucas is still alive somewhere. Although we don't know if you, if you kill... If you kill the point of the infection of the E-Virus, does the virus die in all of its hosts as well? Or does now Lucas carry the E-Virus? Maybe that'll be the next game. Lucas got away and he's, he still has the E-Virus and he's spreading it. Could be. And still, and you know what? The other point is... Nah, for, nah, I lost the point. Some people are saying, should I, should you buy it? Like, I really like this game. I really like it. But it's actually more dependent on, I think, you. Are you willing to spend full price for a game that you know you're going to finish in 9 to 10 hours? You know what I mean? I guess there's some replayability because it's probably going to unlock the harder difficulty, but still. And apparently there is an alternate ending. I guess if you chose Zoe over Mia... It changes some things in the game. <clears throat> hmm. The thing is, this, this game could also, if you know what to do, just like the original Resident Evils, if you know what to do, you can speed rush the fuck out of this game. Because once you know where all the keys are, you know what order to go to the rooms, you can boom, 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 boom. You probably don't even have to kill most of the enemies in the game. You can probably walk right by them. I will say this, good music, great plot, right? Great gameplay elements combining the classic Resident Evil exploration with modern shooter mechanics. All that was done well. I say the graphics were kind of eh, the graphics could have been better. I definitely noticed in a lot of places the textures and everything weren't great. But I think that's because they wanted you to play it in VR and they knew that the graphics were going to be downscaled for VR anyway. Um, but overall, pretty good. I have to say, a very good reboot in my opinion. <clears throat> And by the way, there's a lot of DLC coming out for this game, but if you're not aware, almost all of it is crap. I actually looked it up. Most of the DLC is just more of those tapes, videotapes, where you go back in time and you play out a scenario that happened, like, before the plot of the game. Like, in one of them, I think you're Mia, and you're locked in a room, and you're trying to survive against Marguerite's trying to get you, and you're hiding, much like the other tape that you had. And I think in one of them, you're like, uh... It's like a survival run where a bunch of the generic enemies are coming at you and you have to try to do like a survival run. But it's crap. Like, that's not anything significant to add to the game. You know what I mean? So I don't think any of the DLCs are actually even going to be worth playing. I don't know. We'll see. But 
It seems crappy to me. Because a lot of people are complaining. It's like, the DLC comes out. One of the DLC packs, the game has like four, I think. One of them comes out next week. And I looked it up. And it's, it's that situation with Mia in, in a room and Marguerite's coming after. It's like, why would you want to pay for that? You already beat the game. You already know what happens. Why do you want to do like a prequel mini episode DLC? It's stupid. All right, well, that's it. <clears throat> Still using the Havoc engine. Simply gone. That was the, the decal on the van at the beginning, remember? I knew it was something they used for it. Look at all these plugs. Anything after the credits? Oh, come on. What is this? Enough of this. And the credits. We've seen enough. No, we've seen enough! There's more! There's more credits! Are you kidding me? There's gonna be a whole separate section of credits? Please no. Please let that be it. Oh, it's the newspaper. 2014 newspaper. Yeah, look, there's the family. It takes the form of a child, which can be purchased and raised to suit individual client needs. Oh! What was that? Something was was vibrating. So, it took me nine and a half hours to beat it. 14 restarts, a 14 deaths. Mr. Everywhere's Destroyed, 13 of 20. I guess those must be the bobbleheads. 12 of 18 antique coins, so there is enough to get all the items. I missed one file? Oh. Oh. I missed one file. Damn it. That sucks. So, Madhouse difficulty unlocked and the Albert 012 R weapon unlocked. <clears throat> the Secrets of Defense item unlocked. Don't know what that is. There's. That's Chris! Additional free content, not a hero. Coming spring 2017. That's Chris right there. So, in spring, we're gonna get new content. This is free. Huh. Oh, look, a new title screen. More? Get the fuck out of here. Madhouse difficulty is now available. So Madhouse, I've heard, is really tough. I heard you actually need to find cassettes to save on, so there's a limited amount of saves in the game. I've also heard they're, like, the toughest enemies start from the beginning of the game. And use very, like, even more limited ammo and stuff like that. Pretty crazy. Apparently there's no checkpoints either. You have to save, like, old school Resident Evil. So this is just gonna load straight off. Yep, straight off at the end. Take down Evelyn. Alright. So ladies and gentlemen. That concludes my playthrough of Resident Evil 7. I hope you liked it. Played it, I beat it within a day and a half of it coming out, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I liked it a lot. I think it's a great reboot of the series. It's a way to do it right because people want survival horror, not run and gun, shooting generic enemy zombies and shit like that. I think they did a great job. Um, it does have a few shortcomings, but overall I think it's a step in the right direction. I think that if they keep up with this, they could basically save the Resident Evil franchise. So, good on them, right? Alright, that's it. Thank you everyone for watching my playthrough of Resident Evil 7. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you later. I, I, I'm really probably not going to be playing these DLCs that you have to buy, these videotapes, but I'll, maybe I'll do that free DLC coming in the spring, and if there is a story-based DLC that either continues the story or whatever, I may do that, but I do not want to spend tons of money on a season pass for this game when it looks like most of the DLC is crap, so we shall see. For now, that is it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Peace out.